Syntax builds the form we see Semantics gives it meanings key Connectives link what minds devise Quantifiers range through truth and lies Modus potent strikes with might Modus tollens flips the fight Logic cuts clean, no shallow line Through the long night, reason shines A rule of inference is simply a mechanism for deriving a new proposition, Q, from a collection of propositions of certain forms denoted by P1, P2, until Pn. We call P1, P2, till Pn the premises, and Q the conclusion derived from the premises. Note that everything is syntactic at this point, and we have not yet considered whether the premises or the conclusion are true or false. If you like, you can think of a rule of inference as a magic printer. It scans an input consisting of premises, then prints out the new conclusion. Here is an example. Suppose a rule of inference states, from the premise, if P then Q, derive the conclusion Q. Let us consider an instance. Let P be Bob is taller than 9 feet, and Q be Bob is taller than 7 feet. By applying the rule, when we see the premise, if Bob is taller than 9 feet, then Bob is taller than 7 feet, we immediately conclude that Bob is taller than 7 feet. At this level, everything seems perfect. However, so far, everything is merely syntactic, and things become more nuanced when semantics comes into play. That is, when we consider the actual truth values of the propositions involved in the rule. After all, we would like to use rules of inference to shed light on searching truth in practical situations. With that purpose in mind, a natural question arises. Given a rule of inference, if the premises are true, are the conclusions derived from them always true as well? Consider the following two scenarios for the previous example. Scenario 1. Bob is actually 10 feet tall. In this case, the antecedent P and the consequent Q are both true, so the conditional if P, then Q, is true. As a result, using the rule of inference, a true conclusion is derived from a true premise. Scenario 2. Bob is actually 6 feet tall. In this case, P is false, and the premise, if P, then Q, is vacuously true. This time, using the rule of inference, a false conclusion is derived from a true premise. We have seen that with the truth preservation in view, a rule of inference should not be arbitrary, otherwise true premises may lead to a false conclusion. This motivates the definition of validity. We call a rule of inference valid when the truth of its premises guarantees the truth of its conclusion. For example, the rule of inference from the previous example is not valid. To obtain valid rules of inference, we need the premises to logically imply the conclusion. In other words, when we consider a conditional compound proposition whose antecedent consists of the premises and whose consequent is the conclusion, this compound proposition should be a tautology. Let us review the previous example. The rule of inference there corresponds to the following proposition, and the truth table reveals that the proposition is not a tautology. Now consider a new rule of inference, which states, from P and if P then Q conclude Q. Compared to the previous example, this time we have added P itself into the premises. This rule of inference is indeed valid. The implication proposition associated with it is a tautology. This rule is called modus ponens and is of fundamental importance. We furnish some examples to demonstrate how modus ponens works. If Bob finishes all exercises, then Bob can pass the final exam. Bob finishes all exercises, therefore Bob can pass the final exam. If 12 is a multiple of 4, then 12 is not a prime number. 12 is a multiple of 4. Therefore, 12 is not a prime number. If the determinant of the matrix A, 1, 2, 0, 1, is not equal to 0, then A is invertible. The determinant of the matrix A is equal to 1, which is non-zero. Therefore, A is invertible. You have now seen that modus ponens is indeed a valid rule of inference as well as how it works. This rule has many variants, 
that allow us to formulate the deduction process with greater flexibility. We will explore them in the next session. Shinla Tensei.